Hello everyone, this is Ashijan. In this lecture video, we will discuss uh, the second question on known sheet. As we discussed in the first question that uh, in the loan sheet we will discuss that if any person take any loan that might be home loan, person loan, education loan, car loan. So how do we find that what would be the actual amount of EMI? And EMI is always uh, dependent on the uh, rate of interest, the period of loan and the amount of loan, right? But the second question is uh, very comprehensive. Let's read this question very carefully. You are required to prepare a generalized loan repayment schedule allowing all basic inputs to vary the following format. Am amount of loan taken that is of rupees 20 lakh, rate of interest that is 10% per annum, period of loan that is for 5 years, installment amount we need to cal calculate and we need to calculate on the basis of this that means uh, we have we have nothing given about the emi that means uh, at what time the emi is basically paying that means the that, that is the period of repayment so the question is silent about it so in this case we need to take the help of these periods right yearly that is uh, uh, one at a time one at a uh, in a year one time in a year half yearly means two times in a year quarterly means four times in a year bi monthly means six times in a year right and monthly means that is 12 times in a year and this is the format that we have given that is number of periods opening balance interest due installment and the closing balance and then last we need to compute the following that is what would be the amount of interest in 10 installment what would be the amount of principal in the 10th installment then we need to find out the total interest for installments that is from 5th installment till 10th installment and then we will we'll also need to find out the amount of principal for installments which installments that is for 5 to 10 installments right so this is a very comprehensive question and if you understood this question so that means you have achieved something big right but before i start with this i need to tell that don't watch this video lecture directly uh, because uh, we have uh, done also first part that is uh, we have done the first question in the previous video lecture so first go to uh, go go my uh, watch my previous video lecture on the first question and then come to this for the second question so let's start let's make this format as we have given this question so first we have given this that is amount of loan rate of interest amount of loan rate of interest period of loan and we need to calculate the amount of installment right so these are things are the things that we need to put all the values as per the question <coughs> and uh, Let's write period DCT as well. Although question is is is, question, is uh, silent about this, but we need to put some values there. So the amount of loan taken that is uh, uh, twenty lakh. Rate of interest is that is ten uh, percent. Period of of a loan that is. Uh, for five years installment we need to calculate the amount of installment as well as the periodicity so first uh, let's uh, 
uh, understand the periodicity that means uh, the borrower that means uh, the person who have basically taken the loan at what time he is basically repaying the loan that means the um, what is the time of uh, the EMI right like either the person paying yearly on the basis of yearly monthly right so we need to write all these points so let's see what are the options available for the borrower to pay the EMI what are the options available that is yearly half yearly quarterly bi monthly yearly so yearly half yearly quarterly bi-monthly and then monthly right so if the person is going for the first option that means uh, EMI is paying on the basis of uh, yearly basis so that means uh, that person basically paying one time in a year half yearly means that is two times in a year quarterly means four times in a year bi-monthly means six times in a year and monthly means two times in a year right Now uh, we need to put some value here. So question is silent about the periodicity. So we need to take the help of these columns. So let's uh, make a list with the help of data validation. So go to data, click on data validation, create a list source that is this and let's press ok so these are the list that we have created right then quarterly means that is the emi would be paying that is four times in a year so how do we get this value that is e, e quarterly would be equal to four we can't put value four here because if I change from quarterly to half yearly, right? So that means the uh, number of EMI in a year would be two, but it is four. So how do we get this? That is, would we need to take the help of VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP. So for VLOOKUP, First, they are asking for the lookup value that is this one that is uh, B5. Then, this is the table array. Then, column index that is 2. That is 2, right? And then just close the bracket and press enter. Uh, sorry, I think I have column yes sorry zero approx three million hash yes and then press enter so now if i suppose change from uh, half early to bi monthly so it automatically get change the value right so let's uh, make it to quarterly now let's uh, make uh, this format as we have given in the question that is uh, period then opening balance interest installment closing balance
right so for the period see the number of period would be that is the uh, 5 multiply by 4 uh, sorry we need to calculate the installment also so first calculate the installment that is equals to PMT as we have calculated in the last video lecture the same procedure rate that is 10% but this is per annum so it would be divided by divided by this value that is C5 C5 then number of periods that is total number of periods that is 5 multiply by 4 over 4 that is uh, the C5 value then present value that would be in negative minus 20 lakh close the bracket and press enter so this would be the amount of installment right uh, let's uh, make this round value now the number of period would be equal to that is 20 because the period of loan that is 5 years and the total number of installment that is 4 so that is total of period would be equal to 20 right but the thing is if I change from uh, quarterly to bi monthly so now what would be the number of period that is 5 multiplied by 6 that is equal to 30 so that means uh, if I change the periodicity the period number of period would also get affected right so we need to, to uh, type such formula that all the values will change automatically so for this we need to put uh, uh, the formula very carefully so all of you just see the formula very carefully and you just need to basically clear the concept like why we have putting these formulas right so e equals to e equals to uh, if if this value if this value is less than is less than the period of, of loan is less than the total number of period is less than the total number of period then it would be this plus one otherwise it would be blank just close the bracket and press enter right now just scroll down till suppose 156 so you will see sorry uh, we need to fix up some value here b3 would be fixed up b3 c5 would also fix now press enter and now you may need to scroll down right now you will see the total number of period would be equal to 20 it's get automatically now suppose if i change suppose from quarterly to monthly so the total number of period would be 5 multiplied by 12 that is total number of period would be 60 c the total number of period is 60 right suppose if i change it to yearly then it would be 5 multiplied by 1 so that is total number period is 5 let's see the formula again i just write wrote here if the a9 a9 that is this value that is if this value is less than the total number of period less than the total number of period then it would be uh, it would be uh, we will add one value to the previous value otherwise it would be blank right so if i come to this cell right if i come to this cell if the previous value that is a13 is less than this 
is less than this it is not as an it is equals to it is equals to this value so that means it would be blank right so this is the way of putting the formulas right now let's change again this to quarterly now uh operating balance that is equals to 20 lakh equals to 20 lakh then first calculate the amount of installment right now again we need to put formula very carefully why because the number of period would be affected by changing the periodicity so similarly the um, the installment would also get affected right so we need to put formula very careful again so how do we put equals to if equals to if count if count if count this value if count equals to this value one 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 basically re representing some numerical value why did i write one one basically represent any numerical value right so if it is equal to one then how do we calculate the uh, amount of installment the amount of installment would be equal to this much value this much value right otherwise otherwise it would be blank that's it otherwise it would be blank let's round up this value right so now just uh, fix up this value that is before right and then scroll down to this so i have used now as you now you can see the total number of period is 20 and the total number of installment would be equal to this value if the period if the num, if the period is nothing if there is any if there is no numerical value so the it would be blank right so this is the way of using the formulas now let's calculate the interest again we need to put the same that is if count this value is equals to one then how do we calculate the amount of interest same as we did in the last video lecture that is how do we calculate the amount of interest that is uh, the uh, opening value that is the opening value this is the opening value multiplied by multiplied by Uh, the percentage ten percent, but we need to calculate as per the quarterly. Otherwise, it would be blank. This is the way of calculating interest. Now we need to fix up some value here. That is B one, then B two. and c5 these all cells would be fixed up right now just scroll down so again sorry Sorry, sorry, I have just taken this value. Actually, I will take this value. And uh, then calculate the amount of closing lines. If count this cell is equals to 1 
then how do we get the closing valence that is this minus uh, the amount of installment that is uh, d9 minus the interest otherwise it would be blank right so this is a way of calculating the amount of closing balance now let's uh, fix up some values here now nothing would be so hold on this value now put the operating balance that is if count this cell is equals to 1 then the op then the uh, operating balance of this pair would be equals to this value otherwise it would be blank right now I'll just Uh, scroll down this all these values right so this is the way of uh, calculating the all values all parameters right now as you can see that till the period of 20 the last closing balance is zero right now suppose if I change from quarterly to say monthly right so the total number period would be equal to 60 so uh, okay actually I have just I didn't uh, scroll down this value so as you can see the closing amounts would be equal to 0 right now suppose if I change this value to yearly so again till the last closing balance that is the amount is equal to 0 right so this is the way of putting all the formulas now in this question we have uh, they have asked this point also that is interest in 10 installment principal in 10 installment so let's uh, right here interest in 10th installment then principal in 10th installment then they have also asked for the total interest for installment total interest for installment which installment that is from 5 to 10 then total principal amount for installment is from 5 to 10 right <clears throat> now uh, let's calculate all these values here interest in 10 installment for this we need to put uh, formulas that is IPMT That is IPMT. Sorry. Yes, IPMT. So First they are asking for the rate, so rate is that is 
per quarter divided by this and then they are asking for the period for which period we are going to calculate IPMT that is for the period of 10 10 installment then total number of period that is this multiply by this then the present value that is in negative sign that is 20 lakh and uh, then put zero value for zero stands that is the we are calculating the interest for the at the end of the instrument so zero means and and uh, one means in the beginning right so this is the way of calculating the So this is the amount of interest in the 10 installment. I repeat, uh, let's understand this principle. For this, we need to put PPMT. PPMT rate again 10% per quarter per period. That means for which period we are going to calculate the amount of principal. That is for 10 installment. Total number of period that is Five multiply by four, then put negative sign here for period for the present value, and then put zero sign zero value this for the till the end of this period. That is ninety-seven thousand seven seven nine. Now total interest for interest total interest that is equals to cumulative cumulative IPMD so first they are asking for rate now uh, for this case we we just take this this 10% we will not divide by quarterly why because we are calculating the cumulative value right so rate 10% total number period 5 multiply by 4 right present value that is 20 lakh in this case we will not put minus sign right why we are not putting minus sign here because uh, this cumulative value don't uh, basically don't cons uh, doesn't consider the negative value right so we need to put sign value outside the bracket right uh, so uh, let's check how do we do so uh, present value that is 20 lakh starting period that means uh, for which year for which period that we are calculating the total amount of interest that is from 5 to 10 so starting period that is 5 end period that is 10 then 0 means that is end of the period right now close the bracket and then multiply by minus 1 to make it this positive value this is the calculating total interest of installment for a period of 5 to 10 similarly if we will calculate the principal amount that is equals to that is equals to cumulative ppmt sorry principal rate again that is 10 percent then npr that is total number of period 5 multiply by 4 then present value that is 20 lakh again we will not put minus sign start period that is 5 end period that is 10 type that is 0 end of the period close the bracket and then multiply by minus 1 that's it so the total number of so the total amount of period principal is that is 3,94,463 right so class this is the question and uh, I believe that uh, uh, you have uh, you really felt that this is very comprehensive yes it's difficult but the thing is that once you uh, do practice one or two times you will get uh, like you will solve all the questions very easily right so class this was this is the question number two
rest we will do in the next video lecture thank you